Okay, finding the intersection of lines. So what we're given on this one is we're given a supply function and we're given a demand function. We want to figure out where do these intersect, find the equilibrium price and quantity, um, basically the intersection between these two lines. So the intersection is going to occur whenever they're equal to one another. So what I'm going to do is set them equal to each other. 0 0.05 plus 1.2p is going to equal 8.7 minus 0.7p. Now let's do a little bit of work to solve these down, to get p on one side all by itself. So to do so, I'm going to get all the, the variable terms to one side. I'm going to go ahead and add 0.7p to both sides. That'll move it from the right side to the left side. Now we can combine like terms. We have 0.5 plus 1.9 p's now equals 8.7. All the variable terms on there are on the left side. Let's move the constant terms to the right side. So subtract 0.5. Again, combining these like terms makes zero. This will give us 1.9p equals 8.2. Now to get p all by itself, we need to get rid of the 1.9. We're going to divide both sides by 1.9. This should give us P is, well, my calculator says 4.315789. Dot, dot, dot. Keeps going. All right. If I were figuring out what should I be charging for these custom phone cases, I would round to two decimal places, right? So our price, P, would be, well, I'll use approximately $4.32 dollars. All right, so that's going to be the equilibrium price. To get the quantity, we would need to take this price and plug into either one of the original functions. All right, they should both give us the exact same output value. I'm going to choose S of P. So going back to S of P, the supply function, I'm going to actually try to plug in the 4.315789 like use we're going to get the most accurate answer possible by plugging in a bunch of digits first and then rounding at the end. So plugging that in, that's going to be 0 0.5 plus 1.2 times that 4.315789. And I got that to come out to be right around, I mean, like 5.6789. Um, because that's in thousands, I would go over three decimal places. That's going to be approximately selling 5,679, rounding to the nearest number of items, if that's in thousands. All right, hope this helps out um, as you're, you're working with intersection of lines. Don't get too nervous about the, the fact that we got decimals coming out. That happens sometimes. Typically, if it's a dollars, right, if it's a price, we're going to round to two decimal places and then just be careful uh, plugging into the function. But I don't think that's beyond any of us. All right, good luck on solving these down.